I always find it pretty hard to work with a hand on my butt. Oh, 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 hello! Welcome to From Books to Movies. I'm Jasmo H. McBoing Boing, the Gassy and Happy Bear. And I'm Bob. Welcome to our show. Today, we're looking at deleted scenes from movies that have apparently been instilled with secret messages from Leonard Riggio. Leonard Riggio, as you know, is an all-powerful god that lives in the mountains, whose only weakness is the borders around him. When the holidays hit for bookstores, there are a lot of concepts that get lost in the hubbub. Bub? Hmm? These are actually quite important and help sales. They also aid in making the store run more smoothly. The clips we'll be highlighting today will help illustrate these all-important points to make the holiday season go all the more smoothly for everyone in Bayside. Throughout the year, as you know, Barnes & Noble sends around secret shoppers to make sure that we are using the correct language as well as offering all the services to our customers that Barnes & Noble has established. There are four basic things which secret shoppers are looking for. The first one is illustrated in the following deleted scene from Star Trek X, The Attack of the Reese's Monkeys. Captain Kirk, is this a large I have ordered? Absolutely. Just check the receipt that you've been given. Captain, are you sure? It seems quite small, this drink. Actually, if you check the receipt that you were given, you'll see it is a large. Ah. Hmm. You Klingon bastard, drink up. Hmm. I beg your pardon? Oh, boy. Wow! That was dramatic. So, as you can see, it's always important in the cafe to offer a large and make sure the customer leaves with the receipt. Another one of the main things secret shoppers are on the lookout for is whether the employee is bringing the customer to the section and putting the book in their hands. In this lost scene from Indiana Jones and the Search for the Spider Monkeys, Indy and his father discuss this all-important policy. Junior, you've got to get that book for that customer over there. Uh, but the book's all the way in the back. Junior, he's waiting. Look, Dad, it's busy. I'm busy. We're all busy right now. Listen, son. Is she? Yeah, you have to take the customer to the section, put the book in their hand. It makes them so happy. Screw them. That's bad customer service. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. However, in this additional law scene, we see the types of customers that frequent a Borders bookstore. All right. Stick with me. We really should alphabetize this section. It's kind of messy. Closer. Okay. Get out! <laughs> wow, that was scary! Ain't it, though? I'm glad we don't get author signings like that here. Mm-hmm. You tell it, sister. A prolific reader, Celeste Stallone, fought against the system and put this all-important and dramatic sequence in Rocky 12. As you know, this was the film that broke all the rules where Coco the Gorilla plays Monkey Boy and fights Rocky in the ring. Hey, how are you doing today? I see you have little puppies for sale and I was going to buy something and maybe buy some other stuff. But I just need to know what your return policy would be. Like, if I buy this thing and it's no good, do I bring it back to you? You have 30 days with the receipt. If you don't have the receipt, we can give you an exchange before we give you cash back. Well, I just needed to know what your policy was, because I don't want to come in here and have you get upset and punch me in the face. You know, Bob, this scene was really important because it stresses the need to offer an exchange for another item before offering cash back. No, 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 Jasbo. I disagree. I felt the scene where Adrian stumbles onto the love affair between Rocky's trainer Mickey and Monkey Boy was far more important. Well, we're all entitled to our opinions, even if they're wrong. <laughs> Besides, Sylvester Stallone can't hold a candle to Lawrence Olivier, who we see in the snail-biting scene from Marathon Monkey, as he extracts the information about direct shipping a book to Dust from Dustin Hoffman. Yes. Can it be shipped? 
Yes, definitely, absolutely, definitely. We can ship it. Can it be shipped? Uh, well, mm, definitely, yes. I, I checked the warehouse and um, I def definitely can ship it, yes. My wife lives in another part of the country and I need to know if you can send a book to her. So I just want to ask you one last time, can it be shipped? Uh, well, actually, I, I, I think... Ah! Uh, to have a gift wrapped is free. Whoa! I'm never going to the dentist again! You have no teeth. You're made of felt, moron. Why do you hurt me with your words? In that scene, we see how the bookseller should always be offering to direct ship a book to a customer's home. As you know, whether you can direct ship to a customer's home is indicated by the check mark in the fast ship column and the availability of at least five or more in the BNN distribution center. Those are the important points to remember with regards to secret shoppers. Shh. But there are other things we can do to make the holidays go smoothly as well. For example, when doing a direct ship, it's very important that we do not lose the paperwork for it. This point is illustrated in this deleted scene from Silence of the Chimpanzees. Uh, Mr. Manager, I have a direct ship that's finished here, and I have all the paperwork done, and the customer paid for it. What do I do with the uh, paperwork? Now it places the direct ship in the basket. Please, what do I do with the paperwork? I don't know what to do with this paperwork. It places the direct ship in the basket. Uh, okay, but I do. What do I do with this paperwork? Please, I have paperwork. What do I do with it? I'm new. Could you please tell me? I'm working the basket. Okay. I had a date just like that last week. Uh, um, uh, mm. Well, I guess I'll pick up the ball. Knowing how to use a computer is an integral part of servicing a customer and was the basis of the film 3001, The Year We Touched Monkeys. In this scene that found its way onto Kubrick's cutting room floor, Roy Scheider chats it up with the always helpful HAL 9000. Let's watch! Dave? Yes, Hal? I've checked under title and ISBN number but found no listing for a book titled Mr. Flinger's Monkey Trouble Handbook. Have you checked it by author? Yes. Do you want me to check under customer name, Johnson? Yes, Hal. Sorry, Dave. There is no listing. Hal, try it by phone number. Just a moment. Just a moment. I found it. 212-793-5864. Customer's name was misspelled. Very good, Hal. Can I sing you a song? Uh, no thank you, Hal. Inside, outside, living la vita loca. That Hal! What a sense of humor! Well, we've come to the end of our show, and we have one final message for all of you going into the holiday season. And that's... Teamwork. Teamwork. Only through teamwork can we get through the holidays. Right. And what better way to illustrate this concept than through that ever-exciting scene from Reservoir Monkeys. With the holiday season here, we're all going to pull together and work hard for Christmas Eve. All right? Now, hey, maybe get a little tough. We'll be okay. All going to work together, support each other. We'll do fine. You, stop that smoking. Here are your assignments. You, register one, register two, register three. You're in a cafe, juvie, and info. Why am I info? Because I want you to be there. How about if I work in receiving? Uh, that's okay with me. I'll work in receiving. You're not in receiving. Some guy in Forest Hills in receiving. You're in info. Got it? Who cares where you're working? Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're up at register.